On Monday night left tens of thousands of people without electricity, some seeing trees fall on their homes, others having up to five feet of standing water in their basement. But what's next for them? Sam Matheny sat down with an insurance agent with what you should consider after a storm. Sam? Tyrell Bellis of Cuba is one of many whose home was damaged by the storms on Monday night. His home was flooded with two feet of standing water in his basement. And there's a lot of people here that's in the same boat as me. Their insurance company won't cover any of their damages, any of their personal property laws. Don Griffin is an insurance agent who worked in Houston during several hurricanes. He says Tyrell's concerns are common like many other homeowners who have storm damages. If you don't live in a flood zone, Griffin says you can still buy flood insurance, which will cover sump pump failures. He says having a backup power source for a sub pump is crucial because only then will flood insurance policies cover damages to furnaces, water heaters, and other HVAC equipment. Before and after a storm, Griffin suggests homeowners walk around their house while recording a video on their phone before doing any repairs so you can prove what was damaged to your insurance company. Make any temporary repairs, but keep those receipts, particularly if it's uh, wood or roof damage or a tree fell on the house. Those kinds of things should be covered because that's wind related, not just flood. Griffin says some insurance companies will cover food that was spoiled, but only if you lost power because of wind or storm damage on the top of your home. If the damage came from flooding through a basement, he says flood policies typically don't cover that, but you should still talk to an adjuster. Griffin adds you should also be aware of home repair fraudsters. They swarm in after these events uh, and, and they can take advantage of people. If you sign a contract, you, won't, you only want to give them a deposit. You never pay for this stuff in full in its entirety. In Cuba, Sam Matheny, 25 News.